Hello and welcome back to another speed build video. My name's Jess and today I'm building in Windenburg on a 20 by 20 lot and this of course is going to be an artist loft build. Very eclectic kind of style. I had so so much fun. It honestly was just great to build again. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever been on my channel before or seen a build of mine but it has been a while since I've uh, posted anything and since I've built in The Sims. So this was a lot of fun and I had a lot of moments of discovering new items, which was so, so fun. And it's kind of crazy because all like so many packs are still so new to me. So I'm totally discovering new objects and I definitely have a lot to catch up on uh, just in terms of what the new packs, especially the expansions, have added in terms of gameplay and all of that. But this was really fun to just discover some new objects uh, that definitely helped inspire this build. So one of the things about this build, I knew I wanted it to be uh, like for an artist and it just so happened. I told myself I was like, I'm gonna do a build in September. I'm gonna do one. And of course yesterday for me uh, and my current time <laughs> uh, was September, uh, the last day of September. So I was like, I'm gonna try. And it just so happened. I already had this kind of vague idea of what I wanted to do that the new artist kit came out. And so what a perfect match for this build. And you'll see it's the last bit of the video that I do. But oh my gosh, the objects. Oh, they're so good. Um, and probably that will be a common theme throughout the video of me freaking out a little bit about how much I love all of these new objects because they are just killing it. I I mean, I don't know. I'm sure there's stuff I'm missing. I'm sure there's like, you know, always like a little drama in the Sims community. Um, but wow, it some of the stuff that I found I I I love and and was like actually inspiring, which is like fun. I don't know. For me, um as someone who's been struggling to build, really really fun to to be like, "Oh, maybe I could do a, this build or or use that like this." Um Anyways, but we can focus on the build at hand, which one of those objects I was really excited about was using the stained glass window from the front pack. Um, I have wanted to use it in a build ever since the pack came out, but just like never could make it work. Uh, so just having that be add a a special touch to the front of the house I, I absolutely love. And I, I hope it's very clear at this point that this is an eclectic build. Um, I really wanted it to feel like the person who lived here and kind of built this house, in my mind they built this house, um, that they just did it from like found and reclaimed items. Uh, you know, lots of thrifting, lots of vintage kind of stuff. But here you can see we are working on landscaping. So for the landscaping, as you can see, I sunk the house down. I really wanted it to feel just like a getaway. I think that's kind of what I want and am craving in my personal life right now. So being able to build that was really th fun for me. Um, so just sinking it into the ground and kind of having it be kind of like a little hobbit hole <laughs> uh, was was really nice and, and I think turned out really nice and you see how it how I end up making it work because the obviously sinking it down kind of looks funky but just use uh some of those fence pieces from cottage living and sink it down with a tool mod and then I'm gonna add some bushes and other little pieces to to make it work and I think it ended up really nice <laughs> um it it honestly is like I can't explain how happy I am to to have enjoyed building again just because the sims is such a, a outlet for me to just like get some creative ideas out um but I just haven't had that so here you can see we are working on this little fountain area that I wanted to add and again I wanted it to feel organic and lots of found pieces um, and yeah, I think it's just like a good blend of simplicity and, uh, fun. And I think everything thing in this, like very much I'm embracing the beautiful chaos, you know, like there's a lot of different elements happening, um, 
but somehow they work together. I, I hope you can see watching this the kind of sim who would live here because to me, it's crystal clear. As I was building more and more, I'm like, yes, they would have this. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> they, that, you know, that's probably from Facebook Marketplace. This they found on the side of the road. <laughs> um, so I had a whole storyline going in my head. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to shift gears here for, for a minute. So don't mind me while I um, talk a little bit about life in your uh, fun, relaxing Sims YouTube content. Why not? <laughs> but I, I thought for those of you who maybe have seen my videos before, um, you know, give a little update and hopefully anyone who just like maybe needs a minute um, to chit chat and just hear that someone might be sharing their current struggle or whatnot. Um, one of the things the last build video I posted, I actually spoke about this year, has been uh, a year I've been trying to really focus on my mental health and, you know, approaching it differently and really taking it seriously in a way I hadn't before. Um, so just for some context, I have bipolar too. And that means that I especially struggle with really severe moments of depression just really sad a lot, which uh, not to downplay it because it is, uh, there's a lot more to it. But this year I, um, actually went to a psychiatrist for the first time in like 15 years. Like it's, it's wild. And previously the medication I was on was prescribed by my primary care doctor. Um, but what I just really want to encourage you, you know, with this small platform I have, like, please, 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 if you need help, if, if something's not quite working for you, please know there are professionals out there who will have your back, who will have different perspectives. And um, my psychiatrist just really, really helped fill a need in the medication um, that I was taking. So now I have this mix that just feels like it takes care of me more holistically. And I always thought it would be in like, oh, therapy is the thing. And, you know, I'll finally figure it out and something will click. And while I do go to therapy and I totally encourage it, I think it's really, really important. Um, I, there being on the right medication has, I mean, I, I, I don't know, it's going to sound like it's too much, but I don't think I can overstate it. Um, it has changed my life. Like, I feel like a different person. I feel, uh, but you know, still like myself. But I really thought that life was just something you did sad. Like, mostly, you, yeah, you're going to be sad. <laughs> mostly, it's going to feel a little hard. Um, and that's not to say it, my everyday is, is uh, rainbows and sunshines <laughs> now and everything's perfect. But I have had so many wonderful, beautiful moments and have been able to grow just as a person in a way that I haven't um, in a long time because of, you know, really um, addressing this. So I just I, I encourage you to do the same. And I really, really hope there are many, many good days in your future. And it's not just you looking down another day of survival because that's kind of where I was at. <laughs> so, um, you know, these things aren't linear and um, every day is different, but it also has mean, meant, I'll say, my my life has uh, looked different and my priorities have shifted. Um, and I still <laughs> am struggling to figure out how Sims you know, fits in, in, in all of that. So, because it's, it's this place that used to be such a fun release for me, but posting things online kind of got into my head and I thought things need to be a certain type of way, a certain sort of perfect, um, in order to release, which, which just you, uh, changes the relationship. But I really, really love doing this and sharing, uh, builds and and being able to just escape a little while by building in the sims it's it's exactly what i love so i'm so happy to be here today um thank you for letting me take my minute to to talk a little bit about mental health i think it's important and especially this time of year seasonal depression hits <laughs> um at least where i'm at um i'm in the pacific northwest so things are definitely getting dark and a little crisp 
and uh, definitely those short days are going to start getting, you know, we'll have, we'll have their challenges. But anyways, I hope, you know, this uh, stranger on the internet is rooting for you. Um, but here we'll kind of shift back to the build a little less, <laughs> less serious, but here you can see we really just did a lot on the outside. I wanted there to be a lot of space just to hang out, but especially, um, well, for me, like my idea was there'd be like vignettes of where like your artist sim could paint, you know, grab a picture and paint it. Um, but I tried to also keep in mind that with a creative sim, there's so many options. There's so many cool maker things that we have in the game. So I tried to, you know, I figured where this couch is, you could so easily put in a couple different um, items and maker space where the telescope is. So I'm hoping it will be really flexible for whatever gameplay you kind of have in mind. Um, but yes, I, I really hope the eclectic comes through. <laughs> um, I, I, I can't, I love it. I love how this build came together and so many objects, like, are you kidding me? By the way, those candles, we didn't talk about those candles. With the, the taper candles, with the candlestick, excuse me, unreal, so good. I think that's from the Lovestruck pack. Um, wow, I, there, I, I wish you could have been with me. Like, I wish I was recording when I discovered that object. I, it, it was unreal, the excitement that I had <laughs> for this little ca candlestick, but, uh, it will be in all of my builds. I, I, I think I can promise you that it will be in every build I do from now on. <laughs> um, so anyways, we're moving on to the inside and I wanted to kind of toe the line. I wanted this to have a slight modern element, like, um, you know, old, but cool, <laughs> old, but trendy. And so using a lot of these objects that are really, um, uh, not tarnished. I don't think that's the right word but like rustic like the the these cabinets which again I could gush for hours about how amazing these cabinets are from um horse ranch but they were perfect for this build but then also having um different pieces where there's just like it looks a little more modern so I wanted to do instead of putting cabinets up here because I also just thought it was kind of a weird space to work with um, so I just did a shelf on either side you can see there and I think it's really cute and so I, of course I scrolled through the catalog for too long so I just grabbed out all the different items I was interested in placing put down what I thought looked nice and it looked nice it's really cute <laughs> I really love this uh, kitchen I I definitely one of the things too I guess to update you on um with this year, I have, or, or my husband and I are starting to not, I wouldn't say renovate our house, but also we're no, not remodel, but the renovations. Maybe that's what you would call it, but we're doing some big things to the house that we need to do. Some of them are not so fun, like new roof, uh, getting our crawl space cleaned out, things like that. Um, but we're redoing our bathroom. And so being able to do this and kind of have a moment to escape from making all those decisions that feel kind of big and permanent and scary real <laughs> price tag <laughs> along with it, uh, it was fun to, to do that um, here in The Sims. But it's funny because with doing real life renovation, I'm very much like I, I like to decorate. Um, I'm very lucky to, to have a home I can kind of um, do whatever with. Um, but being able to do like something permanent, uh, like tile, that is so wild. And so I thought though doing The Sims would, you know, I'd have some practice at decorating um, and making decisions of what goes together. But it has not helped so far. The stress is so real. <laughs> um, but really, really exciting uh, to be moving forward with it. It's so overwhelming. And I feel like people don't talk about like, you just have to talk to these people like who understand the process, but like I know nothing about roofs or crawl spaces or um, anything like that. So it was just overwhelming to like, no, just even know what I needed to know. 
Um, I actually used a lot of chat GBT to kind of help give me an idea. And I was like, tell me what questions I should ask and <laughs> all these things. Because, uh, yeah, it definitely feels that's when you feel like you're playing at being an adult. That's definitely how I felt. But I'm very proud of myself because I, you know, called the people and made the appointments myself, which usually my husband would have to do that. Um but again, the uh, kind of cool little element of um, reassessing what like my capabilities are and what I'm comfortable with. So yay, we love that. <laughs> um, so here you can see we are moving on to the living room and I wanted to have just some ridiculously large curtains for the ridiculous windows that again, absolutely beautiful, very rustic and lovely um, from the horse ranch as well. And what's funny, though, this whole space I designed around being able to use those bookshelves because I have hardly been able to use them. And come on, there's a ladder, you guys. So <laughs> I, I wanted to have a wall of books. Um, but I actually, I always um, build the kind of basic shape of the house first and try and get the idea of the colors and things that I want. And uh, when I went to record and... Uh, build this I actually <laughs> accidentally built this one tile too small so originally the bookshelves would have fit perfectly but everything ended up smushing together nicely and I think there's a really cozy aspect to it that works with this build so well so I it's to me happy accident um and which isn't that the Bob Ross thing is that it so yeah. Okay. Anyways. Um, so all that to say, it feels like it all worked out. Um, you will see a little bit later, I'm going to do a cut. And, uh, originally I just put in white wallpaper. Um, but I knew I wanted to change it, but I wasn't a hundred percent on all the colors that I was going to do. So you'll see me a little later. I'll jump and I'll change some of the different wallpaper. Okay, so it is going to be a little later. <laughs> We're not quite there yet. Um, but I do make a few changes just off camera. But here, I had this kind of funky space. I wasn't sure what to do with it. Uh, but I thought it would be perfect to have some, like, hidden artist storage. Um, and again, it's so funny because with the new pack, I hadn't even used... Um, any of the art stuff, but it, we have so much stuff in the game that works so well for having an artist. So this was just a, a really fun, fun build to do because everything kind of felt like it worked together. Um, it's crazy because I feel like a broken record, but again, are you kidding me without wardrobe? Beautiful, stunning, uh, amazing stuff. It, it's exactly what I wanted for this build. Um, and that's the same way I feel about this wallpaper. So I'm so glad I was able to, um, use it. And yeah, hopefully you can kind of see what I was going for. I don't know if this is a style, but it's like where it's like super eclectic, but there is just modern moments. Um, and I just thought that would work for like an artist mentality. So yeah. And you'll see it. I, I did forget. <laughs> of course I'm noticing now there. I, I do delete those floating flowers. If you were wondering, not intentional. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry because now you're probably not going to be able to stop noticing them. But anyways, um, I did struggle to find a rug. I actually um, looked a ton off screen. I thought for a minute I was going to do that rug from high school years, which that swatch stunning. Uh, but it just didn't quite work for me. So I went with the rug I originally wanted to try. I don't know. You'll have to let me know what you think. I think switching it to the lighter um, and then adding in that that chair. Um, yeah, just added um, the color. I, I It was like I was reaching for something like a color scheme. And are you kidding me? That tapestry works so well with adding in the chair. So I was really, <laughs> really happy with that. Um, that's something I <laughs> was thinking about at this point. I feel like I don't know what else to compare it to, but it's like runner's high where like all of a sudden you're just like, you know, there's this elated thing and you're like, oh, I could build for hours and hours because things just are coming together. That's what I was feeling in this room. Still had some struggles, um, but but I was like, 
when I was like, ah, oh, this something feels missing. And then I, you know, added it, added in one element and it just worked. I, I don't know how to describe it. Maybe there's another builder out there who understands what I'm saying, but it was a wonderful um, experience for me uh, to build that bedroom. And, and honestly, at this point, I was just having a blast. Like, uh, it was, it's something that I forgot, you know, how much I love The Sims and what an escape it can be for me, um, where I don't have to super stress about <laughs> what the build actually looks like. I just, my, like at this point, my, my goal was like, if I like it, make it work. <laughs> so you can see adding in that sink. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That sink. Ugh, it's so pretty. I, I am so glad it, like, like, come on, how did that work so well with this bathroom? Um, <laughs> I just, I really like how it came together and everything with this build, I wanted it to just have the element of it's artsy, but cool. And I feel like I was able to do that. And so now we're actually reaching the end because we are working now on the artist loft portion of this build, that desk. Just another shout out to all the objects that I love <laughs> and will be in every build ever. Um, checker, checker, the checkered prayer. Ugh, it's beautiful. Anyways, so here I was able to really dig into the new items from the um, new kit. And it just, it came together really nicely. I did, you know, it's just a square space with not a lot of wall um, because most of it's window um, to put objects against. So... You know, I had to kind of move things around, but I think I was able to get it in this like perfect controlled chaos of, um, you know, maybe what an artist would do. So yeah, but that actually means we're coming in to the end of the build. So I hope you are having a lovely October if you are watching this in October. Um, and I just hope you're doing okay and taking care of yourself. Please um, uh, let me know any updates to The Sims uh, that I should know, any objects I should be sure to check out, any new favorites you have. Um, but yeah, I just hope you're doing well. And uh, I really hope you'll be seeing a build from me soon. Please feel free to leave me any ideas you have because that's always one of my biggest struggles. But thanks very much. But thanks so much for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.